what is up guys the final balance changes for may of 2024 season 59 for clash royale are finally out and i'm so excited man today it's just gonna be going over four of the best decks that i think will now be really really good because of these balance changes just some things to note or some things to pick out um Dagger Duchess, now its HP is a lot less than it used to be, right? 3,204 to 2,768. I mean, bro, bro, that is actually insane. Uh, I think Princess Tower is going to be a lot more popular now. Um, what else? Uh, Evil Bomber, now it has two cycles. Let's go. Uh, hopefully we see less Evil Bomber, although I think a lot of people are just going to be playing with the Evo uh, Skeletons uh, in replacement of the Evil Bomber just because, you know, of the cheaper cycle. Um, uh, let's see, what else is pretty cool? Uh, the Evil Tesla got an interesting uh, fix. Whenever it dies, it it produces another shockwave so hopefully i will show you guys in today's video but uh yeah i'm just really excited for this season uh also drill got nerfed so let's go um <laughs> uh this is just gonna be really really fun and i'm super excited i'll see you guys in the first match <laughs> Alrighty boys, let's go. So the first deck that I will be showing guys is just basic giant. And listen guys, I know giant <laughs> is uh, a very toxic deck, but the video of this today is the best decks. And I can't lie guys, giant is still going to be popular. Um, I am still using the uh, dagger duchess tower because it is still really really good it's just not as good as it used to be right it has a lot less health and that is oh my goodness a blessing thank goodness they did that because bro you you literally started with an insane amount of um health i mean it was not okay so thank goodness they uh they did that because i mean bro it was ridiculous but um, the reason why this deck, guys, is just going to be so good is, well, one, the Fisherman, and you've just got the Fisherman, you've got the Skeletons, you've got just so many things that are um, really good in the meta right now. Um, again, I still think Dagger Duchess will be pretty popular, and so Giant will, or Giant does do really well against it, so I think this deck will just be really, really good in general. Um, it looks like this guy's playing a very interesting Poison Musketeer Knight deck. So if I had to guess, this is Mortar, but uh, we'll see. By the way, guys, um, I think Phoenix is just a really, really good card in general. But um, And so to have it in this deck is just really, really nice. Okay, but let's see. He's just going to go with his Musketeer. Now, I don't want to go with my um, Fireball in case he is playing with Mortar. But let's see. Is he going to go with Mega Knight? That's fine. I can just go with the Phoenix. And then I can just go with a Knight on top of the um, Mega Knight. And we are all good. He's going to go with really bad pair of arrows. Because my Phoenix is going to stay alive, right? And then I'm just going to go with my Evil Skeletons. I'm going to try to avoid that as soon as possible. Hopefully my Evil Skeletons go crazy. Nice. The, it, oh, my Evil Skeletons are still alive. Let's go. Wait, are those going to get onto the tower? Oh, really bad Musketeer. Oh my gosh, wait. Wait, 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 that, oh no, okay, they still died, but look how much damage I'm getting. Yeah, I mean, guys, if this guy's, if this deck doesn't, or that push doesn't show you exactly why this deck is so strong, I don't know what else to show you guys, okay? But, uh, yeah, it looks like this guy has given up. Again, guys, this deck is so broken, and it's literally so easy to play, right? You've just got so many cards that, uh, you know, that synergize really well with each other, and you really don't have to think about it, so... There you go, got a three crown. I'll see you guys in the next match with another really good deck following this new update. Alrighty boys, the next deck that I think will be really, really good after the May update is RG. RG with the Royal Ghost. Um, you know, this deck generally is pretty, pretty good, but I think with um, all the giant decks going around, 
and you know just all the beatdown decks this deck does really well against beatdown right because you've got the fisherman you can activate king you've got the royal ghost just to add some pressure and the rg is generally pretty good generally pretty good in those matchups um not all matchups of course but you know that's that's basically a given now again you guys are going to see a lot of the Phoenix Fisherman combo because it's just really strong. It's just really, really strong. Okay, this guy's playing with the Inferno Tower, unfortunately. But I'm just going to go with a Void. Maybe. Okay, it is going to completely take it out, but um, I'm not going to get any damage. But that's fine. That's fine. The Void is basically just a cheaper Lightning in many, many ways. Uh, I'm going to have to go with my arrows here. Going to take a little bit of the Dark Dam Doblin damage. Can't even speak. Um, gonna also take some night damage, so we're off to a bad start, but that's fine. He is being really aggressive, um, and I don't think he's back to his, uh, his whatever right now, his, uh, his tower, and if he goes Skarmy, the RG will just obliterate it all, so I am able to punish his aggressiveness here, and that's exactly what I mean. He had no elixir, and yeah, I mean, look, he got a lot of damage, but I got even more, so at the end of the day, who's winning? Me, all right? Now... Um, I am just going to play this a little bit slower. I think I'm just going to go with my uh, Phoenix like so in the corner. The reason I go with Phoenix in the corner is because Phoenix is really, like, it, it's, it can get pulled around a lot really easily. So you always want to just put it in the corner to kind of, uh, I guess, prevent as much of that from ha happening as possible, right? Um, I think I'm just going to go with my Rogue Ghost. Should I just predict the Skarmy here? Oh, we just used his knight, so he's definitely going to go Skarmy, right? No, okay. <laughs> I played it too soon, but that's fine. I'm just going to pop my ability here. Um, he is low on daggers, so hopefully I can catch the Dark Goblin. Okay, my Fisherman is acting hella bad right now, but it's all good. I'm just going to void the RG Tower, and bro, look how strong the Void is. I'm somehow going to get an RG on a tower, bro, and just knock it out because of the void bro i mean that is actually insane just gonna go with my evil skeletons here uh and then i can just go with arrows now and i should be looking pretty darn good man i'm just gonna go with my rg in the pocket why not uh he's not gonna be able to get his tower down in time there we go i can just go with the little prince uh for the counter push and yeah guys this deck is just gonna be really strong i promise you guys i think all the uh all the updates will just make rg a little bit more popular so Definitely play this deck, guys, in, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next match with the next deck. Alright, guys, the next deck that I think will be really, really good is Goblin Drill. And you guys might be wondering, well, isn't didn't Goblin Drill get nerfed? Yes, yes it did, but I honestly don't think that nerf is going to be that that uh, that important. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. Um, sure, the, the time, you know... it. It takes longer for it to, uh, you know, get a goblin out. I get that. But I just don't think it's going to matter that much, right? And also, I think if you guys haven't noticed, I'm not playing with Evil Bomber. I'm not playing with the Evil Bomber, right? Instead, I'm playing with Evil Skeletons. And I think I said this in the intro, but I think every deck that had Evil Bomber is now just going to have the, uh, the Evil Skeletons instead, just for that quicker cycle. Um, and... Uh, just because the Evil Bomber is not as good as it once used to be, right? But, uh, okay, looks like this guy is playing some sort of strange deck. Can't exactly put my finger on it. I, I honestly went with the worst Little Prince of all time. And, uh, also I'm playing with the Cannoneer Tower, which I did not intend to do. But it's all fine. I think I will beat this guy anyways. I'm just going to go with a Poison here on that Firecracker. Okay, I'm actually going to get a lot of damage here. Nice, that, that one Goblin is putting in work. I'm just going to pop my ability, right? He's low on daggers. And maybe I can even beat out his goblin gang. Let's see. Oh, he's going to go with P.E.K.K.A.? Yo, what? Okay, I mean, this P.E.K.K.A. is going to get absolutely obliterated by my cannoneer tower. And if he goes with Hog, honestly, I should be fine. But let's see here. I'm just going to go with my skeleton's hide. Let's see if he has Zap. I'm going to hold my Tesla. And then I'm just going to go with a Knight. And that should pull it over into my other tower, right? Or, I, I'm sorry, no. What am I talking about? It should kill the P.E.K.K.A. Right, there we go. So we're looking pretty good. I know he has his evil firecracker up in cycle. Also, guys, I really want to show you the evil Tesla, the new evil Tesla thing. Okay, he's going to go with that. I guess he has lightning. <laughs> just going to go with my arrows. Why not? Okay, and then I'm just going to go with a poison. 
to kill the evil firecracker straight away. I am down damage again, but now I know he has lightning, so he shouldn't be able to shock me um, like that again. I'm honestly going to go with a little prince in the back. Why am I going with a little prince in the back? I want to bait out his lightning, right? And then I'm just going to go aggressively like this. He just uses knight, so maybe he's going to lightning. Let's see. Okay, I'm definitely going to take that poison. I have arrows for his firecracker, and it's not the evil anymore. Okay, really bad lightning because my drill just got an insane amount of damage. Look at that damage, bro, I just got. I mean, that's that's not okay, and that's exactly what I mean, guys. Like, uh, drill is still, is still good, okay? Mark my words. Uh, he can't even go with P.E.K.K.A. here. Let's see. Just gonna go with my Little Prince High. Maybe I'll just try to cycle poisons and stuff. Mm, not sure. Just gonna go with my arrows, though, for now. Gonna pop my ability just to push that P.E.K.K.A. back. Maybe cycle to my Evil Skeletons. Okay. Another Goblin Drill. Maybe I should switch up the placement. I don't know. Okay, this is gonna be a fat poison. Let's go. Uh, if he goes to Tog, that's fine. I'm gonna go with my Evil Skeletons. I'm gonna go with my Knight. And I should be able to win this game, right? I just gotta get my arrows down, and I should be cooking. Please? Okay. Woo! This guy was BMing a lot, so I'm just gonna BM back, because uh, this guy... <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness but there we go got another win was a little bit closer just because well i wasn't even playing with a dagger duchess but then again guys that should be a really good deck um and i'll see you guys in the last match all right guys the last deck of today's video is going to be ice spell and guys whenever i say the clash royale guys blessed the clash royale gods blessed um hunter i mean they really did because what one card destroys ice spell it's evil bomber right like there you have to like there's so many things that you can defend expo with and then you just place an evil bomber and you get a ton of damage right but now evil bomber is a lot weaker right they nerfed it and so i swear to you guys ice spell is gonna be way way better now and uh honestly i'm here for it i love playing with ice spell and I'm just an expo connoisseur myself, so it is just really exciting for me. Now, this guy's playing with uh, what seems to be a really bad matchup. He's got a lot of cards that just are really good on the ground and uh, are tanky in general. So, I mean, this is not going to be fun, but I am going to win the game. I promise you guys I am going to win the game um, if it's the last thing I do because I just hate decks like this. Now, what is? let's see what he wants to do here. If he goes with a bowler in the back, I think I'm just going to go with my Tesla. All right. I don't know what his win condition is, so I do have to be a little bit careful. Okay, he's just going to go with a bowler. That's fine. Honestly, that's pretty good, right? Because now I can go with Expo, or I have a better chance. But that being said, he also has Knight and Little Prince, and I still think he's playing with some sort of Golem deck, if I had to guess off the top of my head. But... Uh, not entirely sure. I'm just going to go with a log here. Uh, not going to be too aggressive um, because, you know, I just need to save my aggressiveness for double elixir. Just going to go with it, my evil knight like this. Hopefully the phoenix walks over. Perfect knight as well. Okay, I'm going to have to go with my evil tesla here. Uh, okay, he's playing graveyard, so this is just a bad matchup in general. Um, hopefully I can win this. Yo, why is that getting so much? Mm, I hate graveyard, bro. So goddamn much, but it's fine. I'm just going to bait out his bowler here. I mean, there's not much I can defend it with right now. Maybe I rock it. Wait, 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 wait. Maybe I rock it. He's not going to expect the rocket, right? Okay, he's going to go with the Little Prince, but that Little Prince is late. And if he pops his ability... Okay, he has a forced Evil Knight. That's pretty good. Just going to go with my Knight. Keep my uh, Expo alive for a little bit. And just, you know, take out that... Uh, take out that card of his. I'm going to go with this. And then I'm just going to go with my Tesla for his bowler that he needs to place. I know he's going to place it. He just has to place it soon, bro. What are you doing? Okay, there it is. He gets it down last second, but that's fine. Honestly, his phoenix is going to die, so I'm not too worried. Okay. I just need to kind of keep on pressuring, guys. Just kind of keep on going. Okay, I'm going to go... Really bad little prince. Wait, really bad little prince. That little prince is going to do nothing. Oh, and I'm just going to surprise him with a tornado, please. No, he was... Ex oh, let's go. Wait. Wait. Oh, nice. Nice. He's going to have to go with a late poison. Wait, this is so good for me. I'm just going to go with my Tesla in the middle. 
Yo, get some damage, get some damage, get some crazy damage, please. Just gonna go with my skeletons. Gonna go with another ice wizard. I know he's gonna go in. He kind of needs the damage now, and he's a little desperate. Um, okay, really good log. Yo, that's getting way too much damage. Please stop. Okay. Gonna go with my Tesla in a second, because I know he's gonna bowler. Okay, I'm gonna go with my tornado. Kind of push it back. Ooh, wait. Wait, I'm gonna get a lock. Oh, let's go. That was a really good tornado again. I'm gonna go with a knight, so he's forced to defend. Oh, I can just rock it. Let's go, man. Let's go. I'm gonna laugh at this guy, because he's playing with freaking... I mean, he's he, that's such an easy matchup for him, bro. I'm not even gonna lie. That's such an easy matchup, but... Hey, I'm just better. So there we go, guys. Four best decks. Again, to go over it, Ice Bow, Goblin Drill, except you're playing with the Evil Skeletons instead of the Evil Bomber, RG, and finally, good old Giant. Um, <laughs> I mean, this one is not good. I'm not going to lie, but I can't lie. It's going to be one of the best decks. But there you go, guys. Those are the four, I think, going to be the four best or most popular decks following the may 2024 um update for clash royale if you guys like this video please like and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video peace